the latest turn for the worse in the Russia-Ukraine crisis has resulted in a very clear move towards reduction in risk appetite. The resulting flow has seen stocks under pressure and the U.S. dollar broadly bid. Interestingly enough, we've also been seeing plenty of demand for commodities, which has managed to offset some of the fallout in those correlated FX markets. Reports Russian President Putin has recognized breakaway rebel regions in Ukraine's east as independent states has been viewed as a move to end peace talks in that area, something that, of course, does not sit well with investors. At the same time, Moscow denies reports that Russia plans to invade, though this hasn't stopped and been enough to prevent the U.S., the White House, from announcing plans to sanction Russia. We expect the storyline here to continue to dominate headlines and market direction over the coming sessions. Key standouts on today's economic calendar come in the form of German IFO reads, U.S. Schiller, U.S. manufacturing PMIs, the Richmond Fed, and U.S. consumer confidence. That's all for now.